Hi, about a year ago I made a 3D printed track for my skateboard. I repainted the skateboard and I wanted to make it electric, but it wasn't really successful. The 3D printed track was really fragile and it broke really easily. Then I designed a 3D printed track for a longboard. That also wasn't really successful project, I didn't share that anywhere on the internet. But right now, this year, I think the prices of the components for electric longboard and electric longboard itself becomes cheaper and cheaper. So this year I want to try it again. I will use LiPo batteries, brushless motors, uh, also uh, some kind of ESC substitute because it's cheaper than real ESC for this powerful motor. And I have to figure out how to fix this motor to the track. Firstly, I want to prototype this plate for the motor, probably with a 3D printer. I will adjust all of the things and then I will mill it with the Dremel CNC, probably out of aluminum. So let's go back home and start prototyping this clamp because this is probably the most crucial thing in this project because I already have all of the components, those are quite easy to buy, but this clamp, this may be quite hard to make. I'm not sure what's going on, but weather in this country, weather in Poland is really terrible right now. It's like 35 degrees Celsius almost every single day for a week. It's terrible right here. But let's get back to the project. Here I have the longboard, here's the track, and I need to figure out a way to mount a plate that will, in the future will be made out of aluminum. As for now, for the prototyping purposes, I will 3D print it. I need to figure out how to attach it to this track. It's really in regular shape, so it wouldn't be simple. Probably I will redesign it a few times, maybe work on it a little bit with a file. I will find a way to make it. Of course, I have to take one of these wheels off. Uh, and now let me show you the parts. I already told you what parts do I use for this project, but let me show you them. Here I have the brushless motor, really powerful motor, over 1000 watts of power. It has a really big torque and spins really slowly. That's perfect for electric skateboard. Here is the ESC substitute. I'm not sure what's the difference between ESC and this thing, but that's how they call it. You have here a button battery level monitor XT60 connector. And also together with this, you have a remote. And because this ESC and motor needs 6S power, I will use two 3S LiPo batteries. And to connect them together, I have something like this. You connect two 3S packs. And here you have the 6S output. You connect it just like, like this. So of course, I not only have to figure out a way to attach the motor to the track, but I also have to figure out a way to hide all of the electronics probably under the skateboard. Uh, and I think I will just 3D print a simple container for all of that. Uh, I'm not sure yet I will figure all of that out. So let's take off one of these wheels and start designing, because this will probably take some time. I almost forgot about quite important part for this project. You need two gears. Big gear and small gear and a belt of course. They sell that in a kit so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, big gear for the wheel, small gear for the motor, that's how it works. And of course I need to find a way to somehow mount this gear to the wheel. And it's a little bit too deep in the wheel, so I will probably print a support, something like this. This may be 3D printed, forces right here aren't huge. And I also need to drill five holes because there are five holes uh, in this wheel. Not sure how to do that to make it perfectly center. I mean, this gear needs to be perfectly center in the wheel, but I will find a way. Somehow later I will find a way. So let's start designing. Really not the best tool for that, but that's the only thing that I have. That is really close to what I want to achieve. I didn't expect this thing to work so well at the first try. I thought that there would be quite a lot of iterations to get it working quite decent, but it's close. It needs to be definitely tighter. I need to make this hole slightly smaller. This gap should be also smaller. And of course I need to add slots so that we can adjust position of the motor to tension the belt. I already redesigned this thing slightly and I will print it in a moment but right now I'm printing the support for the gear that will go to the wheel.
After 5 different versions I finally have something that may work. We will see, it fits the track really well, you can change the position of the motor to tension the belt. It looks fine, it can be easily machined on the Dremel CNC. Of course this hole right here will be drilled on the drill press because it's not possible to machine something like this on a 3-axis CNC machine. I'm not sure if this will be strong enough because for that I need to use M3 screw. That's really tiny, we will see, eventually I can get back to the designing and redesign this thing completely. But as for now, I think it will be fine, so now let's go to the workshop, machine this thing on the Dremel CNC, but firstly I need to pack my stuff, so give me a second. Machining of this part will be very very simple, we just have three pocket cuts to do and one control cut I think. It will be simple, of course I will use the Dremel CNC, here is the second Dremel CNC, I built it in one of my last videos, we'll use single foot 2mm bit and this new spindle, I just need to put the wasteboard back in place because I have been doing some other stuff on this machine. <laughs> It was milling for over an hour and it was so close to get it ready there was just like one millimeter more to cut just five layers and it would be ready but it's not it looks like we have a problem with the couplers probably because of the vibrations i already replaced all of the couplers with metal ones i replaced the 3d printed couplers with metal ones and it looks like because of those vibrations the screws inside the couplers get loose a little bit and the lead screws especially on the y-axis start to slide in the copper a little bit. Because of that we have a small shift on the y-axis and because of that we bumped into the material. Problem is that those three pockets are perfect, super shiny, no any shift, but the contour cut is always a problem for me. I'm not sure why. When I was ordering parts for this project, I wanted to buy this plate for the motor so that it's easy to attach to the track. But then I was like, I have a Dremel CNC, I can easily machine something like this and if I would buy one, it probably wouldn't fit the track of my longboard. And I thought it would be fun to make. But eventually, after all the sanding, here it is. It fits the track pretty well, it looks also not that bad, it's pretty shiny. I sanded it down, there was no problem at all with those slots for the motor, those are really perfect. I was thinking about painting this piece but I actually like this shiny surface. Uh, and now I need to drill a hole in here so that I can clamp it to the track. And I will also drill holes in the wheel so that I can attach this gear to the wheel. Drill 
grip press is not working, so let's try this. It was really simple to make this hole, I decided to go with 3.5mm drill bit. It was also simple to make the holes in the wheel to attach the gear. And now M3 screw to clamp this piece of aluminum to the track. Let's assemble all that and see if it works. Motor, plate, belt, gears, that's finished and now I need to design some kind of box to protect the electronics, including this radiator for this ESC uh, and also the batteries, because we need to some kind of hide the batteries under the longboard. That was quite a long print together with the flap about 10 hours. Now I need to put in place the ESC, batteries, everything, attach it to this 3D printed case. Then I will attach this 3D printed case to the longboard with screws inside. Thankfully this curve of the longboard matched pretty well with the one that I designed. And now I need to resolve one problem because I dropped this longboard just once and this aluminum plate got loose, so I think I will just design a 3D printed clamp that I will attach to the aluminum plate and then clamp it to the track, hopefully that will be strong enough. box it's small and tiny and also it's pretty easy to fit all of that inside I just need to add the batteries and this clamp is 3d printed with PETG filament 100% infill and 4 perimeters I hope that will be strong enough so far it's really strong I also tightened the belt so it should be fine so let's put in place the batteries and we'll go out to test it
Let's see how fast this skateboard can go. There are a few cool things about this skateboard. The first one is that you don't need to turn it on with this button on the bottom. You can just start riding, it will detect that you want to ride and turn on by itself. Second thing, the remote. Really comfortable to use, really handy. I like this solution. But keep in mind that those brakes are not that great and always wear a helmet. As I said, the batteries are also not the best choice and I will replace them in the future with 8650. As for now, those are fine. This is seriously one of the best projects that I recently built. I love the electric skateboard, I never before ride an electric skateboard or electric scooter. This one is pretty cool, of course maybe it's not as powerful as boosted board, but it's way cheaper and you can make it on your own. In the description I will put all of the links to the parts that I used to build this skateboard. If you have any questions leave them in the comments, thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye!